Okay, so I'm gonna see what I can do about my brows. Uh, I just did my face in a live. So the issue I have with my brows is I pull on them. So I've been doing really good about it lately. Not so much of an issue lately, but sometimes I'll get these sections that it could just use some filling in over here. I just had some growth back where I had pulled through or accidentally tweezed pretty much through. I had like a, a ghetto strip in my eyebrow. So it's a little thin over here. Danielle, we have this, uh, our brow palette. I've literally used it once. So we about to work this together. I don't have liner. I don't think I need liner. I mean, my eyebrows have an awesome shape. I don't need to make shape. And I think if your eyebrows are just thin, but you like the shape of them and you need to just thicken them out, you may not need liner either, unless you need guidance. I think it's gonna be, you may need liner until you get better. So this is our brunette brow artist palette. So you've got two different shades. You have your light brown, you have your dark brown. Okay, this is, um, this is corrector, the pink is corrector. I don't know what four is yet. It's this iridescent. I'll figure out what it is and get back to you. But I don't think a whole bunch of us don't know what four is. I have to look it up. <laughs> so what a lot of us do with the color brows, a lot of us have the same color brows. It's this dark brown. Um, we have like a, a dark brunette black palette so it's just gonna depend what colors you need i mean by by all means you don't have to get these products you just need help with brows girl I'll help you out with brows to the best i can um this right here is wax so when it comes to your brows you want to make sure you're not putting on something that's going to easily smear when you touch your face so let me get my my brow brush first let me figure out what i did with it there it is So what a lot of us do in that girl's video that I sent you, the way she transitions from dark to light because she's kind of lighter, her hair's a little bit lighter. It looks like she, she had the brunette palette. She went in with the dark in the second half and then she transitioned to the lighter or it was opposite, I don't remember. I think she transitioned to the lighter up here. So she transitioned to this. She didn't explain very well with the palette what she was doing when she used the wax. So the best I can tell you from what I've learned from other people, so this is our brow brush. They're both very thin. Both sides are very thin. The only difference is one, you have a flat angle. And one side is angled. Um, what I've seen most girls do is they literally tap tap, tap, and then they get a little bit of their wax on top of the color, and then go in, and then it's just a repeat, and then go back in. But you want, if you're gonna line with a brow liner, you're gonna line first. So let's see what I can do. I, again, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I just need to fill in a little bit, like some spots. Like that, I've got this section of my brow here that grows straight up, so I, sometimes I have, when it gets out of control, I have to trim it down, like I just had to do that recently. I gotta pull my mirror a little bit closer turn this down but you see how it's a little bit dark already but it doesn't even look to the in the video it looks darker than it is It definitely looks darker than it is in the video. But I guess if I get closer, you can see it's literally just kind of filling in. So I'm gonna tap, tap, get my wax. And that's gonna keep it from, again, when I rub my face, from rubbing all over the place and smearing. And I came in just a little bit there at the end to fill in that super thin spot. This desk is an awkward height. Okay, 
So I would say that brow is done. Um, my favorite saying, like they say about the wing liner, you want them to be sisters, not twins. I really like that. I think that helps people feel better. It's gonna have a whole lot on it, so I've got to be very gentle here. And don't, um, I think a mistake you can make depending on what you're doing, whether you're filling or creating, if you're filling, don't focus too much in one spot. I think her video was good for creating because while she was following where her brow is, but her brow was so light, she's she was technically creating. I keep looking over at the video so I can see how dark it looks in the video because it looks darker there, so I'd rather just maybe go by that. I had like an eyebrow that was bent out. And this eyebrow is like near perfect, so I'm just filling in for some color back here. I would say that one is done. Just remember you can always add, you cannot take away. Um, for me, it's gonna be all about going with the natural shape of my brows. Got another girl, she just ran through her brows really quick with the way she shaped it. She squares them out right in the beginning, kinda, kinda like that Andrea, I think her name was. I had to request a kind of a tutorial from a group. <clears throat> so that's all I did. And it, I mean, let me turn this light off and see if that helps. Helps it look, it's dark. I mean, I probably could have went a little bit lighter, but my, my eyebrows are dark. I got dark eyebrows. I just have a whole lot of natural blonde highlight up here in the top. So maybe this was a little helpful too. We can definitely try to find more. I gotta put some more concealer on my face. Um, but here you go.